UBI or universal basic income is a cash payment granted to all members of a community uh, with no strings attached and no work requirements. So it's the idea of free money for all, basically. It has roots in as different sources as um, Thomas Paine, Milton Friedman, Martin Luther King Jr. and the welfare rights movement. And it's been defended as a direct and efficient way to tackle poverty uh, while increasing freedom. UBI is in a way quite unusual and bold, uh, at least when compared to most welfare programs, um, which are typically targeted and full of strings attached. Uh, for some of those programs, you need to be working. Uh, for others, you need to be looking for work. For others, you need to have no work, right? So it's pretty, you have to fit within one specific category um, in order to be eligible. I think the image of the income floor is the most accurate visual representation of what UBI does for individuals. Um, so it prevents them from falling too low and it helps us build a robust floor below which no one is allowed to fall. And standing on that floor does not guarantee a fulfilling life. It doesn't make you rich, but it helps protect your dignity and it enables you to stand in front of others taller. Right. So that's really the idea. Uh, it makes you less likely to find yourself in humiliating circumstances or vulnerable to all sorts of exploitation and abuse that occur when you are um, when your immediate survival is on the line. Another image, um, less serious perhaps, but nonetheless very helpful, is that of Go Money in the game of Monopoly. So whenever you pass go in the game, the banker pays you a salary um, and you've done nothing to deserve the cash, right? You just get it because you're a player. Uh, you just eat go and you just, um, this is why you're getting the cash. So it is also cash that you can rely on um, so that you're ensured to be able to be around to play. A real example of that is Alaska. Um, so Alaskan residents um, get a dividend on a yearly basis. So most UBI proposals are monthly, but it can also be yearly. It just has to be, it just has to be regular so that you can rely on it. You know it's coming. Um, and so you just have to be an Alaskan resident in order to get it. Um, it's not as high as, um, as many UBI proposals out there because it fluctuates from one year to the next, but it's something nonetheless that you get just for being a member of the community. The problem with uh, targeted programs is often that recipients are um, stigmatized and they end up accepting support at great cost to their dignity. So those on benefits are often demonized as, for instance, benefit scroungers or welfare queens. And there's a long history of demonization of individuals along those racialized and gender tropes. And those myths are very damaging. So much so, in fact, that some eligible people don't claim benefits because of this fear of being demonized or being seen as a benefit scrounger. One way to reduce this issue here again is to normalize public assistance, right? So if we are all welfare recipients, then it is much harder to blame or demonize the person in need of those benefits because we are all receiving it, right? So um, I can't quite blame or demonize my neighbor for being uh, living on their UBI. I'm receiving the UBI too. I could decide to live with my UBI. It just becomes much harder to demonize a particular target group, right? And to use it politically, in fact.